everybody. Welcome to Country Girl. Today I have another Dollar Tree haul for you. Um, I would say this wasn't planned, but I say that every time I get on this video. So um, I guess I just need to quit making up excuses for the fact that I'm just a Dollar Tree addict. But anyway, um, I've went to Dollar Tree for the last couple of days and collected a few things. Yesterday evening, I decided that I wanted to clean out my van because it's just looked horrible i mean i've been needing to do it for a long long time and there is a car wash near me called wiki wash and it is like the they have the best vacuum cleaners ever and i think i paid like ten dollars for a car wash you run it through the, the little car wash thing so it is one of those little drive-throughs and then when you get done you have access to their vacuums and the vacuums are so good because they're extremely high powered they have two of them they stay on all the time. One of them um, actually kind of makes me think of like a snake head. It's more like this. Um, so it's wider, but it's still small enough to where you can get it in certain places. And I mean, it, the suction on that thing is unbelievable. Also, they have one that's like got the little skinny head so that you can get down into the cracks and stuff of your car. And those are in little holsters and they have them on each side of your vehicle so that you don't have to run the vacuum hose all the way through your vehicle to get to the other side. You can do one side and put those up and then go to the other side and do it. But anyway, um, I spent about an hour there. It was worth $10 to me um, just to vacuum out my car, much less have a car wash. So, um, Anyway, I cleaned my car out, and then I got all excited about cleaning my car out and said, you know what, I need to go to the Dollar Tree and find some organizational things for my car. So I was so excited to use these things that I went ahead and put a lot of the stuff in my car. So I am going to show you um, how I put those in my car and how I use those things. And I'll probably record that um, tomorrow morning on my way, you know, before I go to work just because the sun's going to be shining a little bit brighter. And today's overcast. I almost didn't think I was going to be able to do this in my car because it was so dark. I just went to walk with my sister. and um, But I think where I'm at now is just lighter. So I was like, well, I'm going to go ahead and try and knock this out before it gets too dark because I don't like watching grainy videos. But I'm going to show you the things that I bought um, that doesn't really necessarily pertain to my car. Maybe a couple things in here that I've just recently bought. And then tomorrow morning I'll record the video, um, you know, of what I put in my van and how I used it. So um, just to get started, I picked up some more of these Reynolds wrappers pop-up full sheets. And I've hauled these before. I was out of them. I use them in my little toaster oven. I also use them... Um, to cover up um, dishes and stuff that I'm gonna, I'll try and heat food up in the oven now. I don't say I'll ever use a microwave, but I try not to use a microwave if I don't have to. And so a lot of times when I'm heating up food and stuff, I'll put tin foil over it so that it don't get dried out while it's heating up. So I got some of those. Um, I picked up one of these little hampers to take with me on my trip because um, it's really small but it pops up and I carry this with me last year. I actually might have it in my old suitcase because a lot of times when I'm done uh, on a trip or something, I'll just put some items in my suitcase that I'm only using when I go somewhere. And then that way I have them for next time. So this may be up in my old suitcase in my barn, but I'm not carrying that one with me this year and I wasn't sure. So I saw this and decided I'd go ahead and get it and it lays pretty flat. So it's just nice to have like while I'm, um, you know, wherever I'm at, I can just toss all my dirty clothes in there. And then when I get ready to leave, I'll just pick them all up, put them in a bag and stick them in my suitcase. So I got one of those. Um, I picked up one of these eyeglass um, zipper um, cases. And I have one that I have bought for some reading glasses that I had. But I've seen several people haul these and they use them to actually like put their, um, their cords for like their cell phones and stuff like that in there or their earphones and stuff. Now I do use a little hard cases. It's got a little snap sides for my earphones, but I thought I could actually put my, um, my charger cord and charger heads in these and stick them down in my bag. So I got that. And I also have been looking for these Velcro um, ties. They're kind of like zip ties, but they're Velcro. And the Dollar Tree used to carry those and I haven't seen them in forever. So I know Walmart has them, so I may pick up a pack of those before I go because I would like to wrap those around my cords and stuff to keep them contained. Um, not just to use on my trip, but you know, even at home, I like to use those. So I did break down and I got one of these um, notebooks. And this one says Gypsy Spirit. And I think I showed a picture of it in one of my other Dollar Tree videos. 
Um, and I passed them a couple of times and wasn't going to get it. But I always, you know, refer to myself as like a gypsy girl at heart. Um, because if I, you know, like I think sometimes we all have like an alternative lifestyle or not really a lifestyle, but just personality, you know, that it may not suit who you are today, but maybe some, somebody that you wish you could be free spirited, travels, you know, adventurous, all that things that I don't get an opportunity to be and do. Um, and so, you know, it's just like, that's kind of like my inner spirit is what I would like, you know, to be is like somebody free and, you know, just mellow, relaxed. Like I said, everything I'm not. So anyway, that drew my attention. So I got the one that says Gypsy Spirit. And oh, just to let you know, um, it has 80 sheets. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is ruled because somebody else had opened this. Um, but I got a lot to go through and show you, so I'm not gonna open this one today. But this one, the other one had like little flamingos on it. And um, then another one has something about Hello Gorgeous. So anyway, I picked up that. I picked up some of these Miss Freshly's fruit and grain strawberry. Well, this is strawberry, but I thought it was like mixed fruit, um, but that's okay. My daughters like these. Um, they're really good to me. They're just as comparable to the Nutri-Grain bars. So I bought some of those. They're gonna be, you know, having to fend for themselves because mama ain't gonna be there to cook for them. So I figured I'd get them something they could eat that's fairly easy and they don't have to cook. Madeline told me the other day that I needed to get um, some paper plates. So I just picked up a couple packs of these. It's getting near the fourth. I didn't want to get too many of them, but I, there's 14 in each pack. So I figure 28 will last them for the next week or two. Um, so I did pick two of those up. Oh, these are things that I just needed um, or stuff that I can use, which is actually better. I mean, we should go to Dollar Tree and actually buy useful items from time to time. Um, I did go back and pick up one of these jars because I hauled it to give to one of Caitlin or two of Caitlin's friends for their birthdays. And I just really thought they were pretty. Um, so anyway, I did get this. I got the rose one. They didn't have all the colors. It just says live, laugh, love. I just thought that was pretty. I don't know. It's just something about it. it makes me think of honeys or bees or something. So I got that. Um, also, let's see what else I got in here. I picked up some Sunbeam batteries, and I think I'm actually going to put these in my car because we have some headphones that we use for our DVD player. And Caitlin was telling me the other day that the batteries was dead in one of them, and I don't know which ones they are. So anyway, I picked up some of these to put in the car. I picked me up some triple antibiotic or original ointment, and I thought that this would be good for me to stick in my um, toiletry bag to take with me on my trip because, you know, you never know when you're going to get cut or something somewhere and it's to me it's always good to have some ointment um antibiotic ointment with you so that something don't get infected so especially when you're not in your own country so i did uh, pick up that i picked me up one of these travel toothbrushes that everybody's talking about i don't know if i'm gonna like this i have a toothbrush that i use and love 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 my sister is the one that um, told me about it. It's called a Nimbus, and you can get those on Amazon, and I'll put the link down below. I think you get like five different colors in a pack, and I think they're like 14 or $15, but um, they're still, I mean, they're just, they're just really good toothbrushes. And, you know, my problem was is that I'm an aggressive brusher, and when you aggressively brush your teeth, you can actually damage your gums and cause your gums to recede. And I knew I did not have any kind of gum disease or anything like that, but my gums were receding. And so I had asked my dentist about it. And he, of course, he says, you know, age has a lot to do with it. As you age, it happens. But if you're an aggressive brusher, you can make it even worse. So um, even though toothbrushes in your regular stores say that these toothbrushes are soft, they're never soft enough. And to me, after I use them a few times, they actually seem like they get harder. These Nimbus toothbrushes are full toothbrushes. I mean, very, very full bristles. And they, they are super soft and they stay soft. And ever since I have been using that toothbrush, I have not had any gum recession, uh, further gum recession. As a matter of fact, it makes me, actually looks like my gums are getting better, if that even happens. Um, I don't know if that's something that's reversible or not. But, um, so anyway, make a long story short. That's the toothbrush I love. I don't usually veer, venture or veer off from that. 
Um, but I did see that this was a little travel toothbrush that you can flip down into this little case. And so I thought, well, I'm only going to be gone for about three or four days. I'm sure that, you know, I can deal with it for three or four days. And I can just, that way, if I lay this neck on the counter or something, I ain't got to worry about, you know, it being exposed to other things. And um, I can just flip it down in there and use it. Plus, I can pack this the night before and I can use my own toothbrush that morning when I get up before I go because that's one of the reasons why I'm always a last minute packer because I always feel like that there's so many things that I'm going to use when I get up to get ready in the morning and I know I can pack some of my clothes and things like that that I won't use but I'm afraid that that's going to cause me to forget something you know because I'm going to think I packed it when I didn't and so I always pack at the last minute but um, this time I'm packing everything I, I'm going to be ready to walk out the door packed and I'm going to try and just use any little extra items I have in my home to get ready with so that I don't have to take anything out of my luggage. And this is going to do that. That was a whole lot of talking about a toothbrush. Okay. Got the toothbrush. Pick me up some of this lens cleaner spray. Um, I have a little bit left in my bottle that I got from my eye doctor. But I thought, you know, I'm going to be probably around pools and sweat and everything else, you know, that accompanies being outside in the hot sun and I probably am going to wear my glasses quite a bit. I've gotten to where I wear them more because now that I'm getting older um, I have a hard time seeing up close and when I wear my contacts I have to wear reading glasses or I can't see anything. I mean I'm just like blind up close but when I have my glasses on I don't have a problem. I do have a little bit of a prescription down the bottom but it's very low. I think it's like one or something um so it helps but also i can take my glasses off and see better than i can with my contacts it's just more convenient so uh, being that i'm going to be you know out and about and everything i thought this would be this would come in handy to throw in my bag that way i can clean my glasses and stuff off i also picked up a set of these little tool bench um screwdriver set now i've got one by stanley that i have at home i keep in my little toolbox um in my cabinet for me but I thought this would be neat to keep in my van because you know, we're, people are always needing little screwdriver sets, always. I mean, I can't tell you how many times we've been somewhere and somebody said, Mama, you got any screwdrivers? Um, you know, you got a little screwdriver set or something on your keychain or something. And so I thought this would be something neat that I can keep in my car. So I did buy that for this. Something else I bought, now I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these yet because this was like an afterthought after I've already kind of like done some organizing in my car. But I did see this on Pinterest last night, and somebody had gotten these little um, pencil pouches from the Dollar Tree. And this one's a blue with a little chevron print, but it's actually clear on the front part. So you, even though it's got a print on it, you can still kind of visually see what you put in here. And I like that. I'm one of these people, if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. If I don't see it, it ain't going to get used. So I have to be able to see what is in something in order for me to grab it and use it. And so um, I got three different colors, and that's what this lady did too. And I think she may have got these exact same ones. But this is a red one with polka dots. And then this one is a black one. I'm not sure what that kind of prints. Kind of little metric, like little cubes or something. And what she did was she took these and she turned them all to where the little holes were together and then she bought a set of these rings and put it she just put hers I think in one corner but you could do it in all three if you wanted to however you want to do it the zippers are down here and so she put different items for her vehicle in these little things she says she, she chose red for her little first aid um, I can't remember what she did with her other two but like I could use the gray for little car type things like um, you know my towels and my little armor all or something or my little tool set that I want to put in here. And then, you know, other little miscellaneous items you could put in this one. And you just keep them all tied together. And she says she sticks these down in her console. Well, I already bought me a little organizer thing for my console and stuff. Well, I said, I don't know. I may find a way to put these in my glove compartment. But I just thought that was just too cute. Even if I don't use it for my car, I can find some way to use this. So I did, and my batteries too. I could put that in there. Um, I did buy that. Got stuff thrown all over the place. One thing I do want to keep in my car is a pair of scissors because every time we go anywhere and we buy anything, it's got those little tags, those little plastic tags. I have to use my keys to try and, you know, pull them to break them, and that's just so inconvenient. And if I had a little pair of scissors that I could keep in the car, then I could just snip those things. Sometimes I'll use my fingernail clippers, but anyway. 
Uh, something else that I had bought for my trip was this craft storage box. I seen um, Do It On A Dime. She actually done a travel um, video and I have got a jewelry case that is leather that I got from my job years ago when they used to give you um, nice things for being there 10, 15 years, that type of thing. Um, and it is nice and I may carry it if I can find it. I cannot locate it right now, but even if I can or can't, I still might use this. But she took this and she used it to put her jewelry in. So you just put your earrings, your necklaces, you know, rings, whatever you've got in these little compartments and just close it and you know, I, I checked to make sure it was going to be flush so they wouldn't be like sliding around in here. And she just stuck this down the side of her suitcase. And I just thought hers was a little bit different. I think hers was the total clear one. But I like this one because it was a little bit more square and smaller. Um, but I just thought that was a really good idea to put your jewelry in one of these things when you're traveling. So I picked that up. I also could not resist picking these things up for an office slash crash craft room that may or may not ever get cleaned as long as I live because I talk about it all the time and I never ever go in there and clean it. I keep telling myself it will happen one day. So I'm collecting all this stuff for my one day craft room. Um, but I got this little basket. One, I really love this cute little design. I mean, I just, and this is the perfect size and it's got a little handle so that you can like grab it really easy, but these come with lids. And this, they had different baskets um, that had this design, but they didn't all have lids. This was the only one that had the lids. I don't know why they didn't have the lids for the other ones. But I just thought these were really cute. I really wanted to get the gray ones, um, but the gray ones, somebody bought the baskets with the lids on the shelf. So anyway, I bought three of these. And just to show you how they stack. Yeah, they just stack. When you got the lid on, they just stack right on top of each other. So I just thought that was really cute and um, you know, I'm gonna put that on my shelf in my craft room, my one day craft room when I get it organized. So I got that. And then the other items that I got, I'm trying to make sure I'm not leaving anything out. I got so many bags in the car. Um, it's like junk food basically because I'm hungry. It's after work, I've been walking. I'll go work out or walk and then I buy the junk food. This is for Madeline. She likes Reese's. I always got to think of my girls. Caitlin got Twix. I got these Black Forest Swirl Gummy Bears. These are the best gummy bears ever, ever, ever. And I never, I'm mean, excited, I never see these. This is not a frequent item at my Dollar Trees. If I find a Dollar Tree that has one of these, it's like a rare treat. Um, Caitlin got me these when she did a um, shop Dollar Tree haul one time. And they are just so delicious. I love these gummy bears. So I bought two packs of these. And then I just bought me some of this Brim's cheddar pop, white cheddar popcorn. I like this. So I purchased that and that's our junk food. It's probably what I'm going to be chowing on on the way home. Um, so anyway, um, I did, because I'm sitting here, I'll just go ahead and show you. I did buy me one of these cups. I showed you my mother had bought one and I thought it would be really cute to put snacks and stuff in for your car. So I did go ahead and pick me up a gray one. The interior of my van is gray. So most of the stuff that I bought was gray and I love it. I don't, I mean, it just everything matches. I wish I could have gotten like even more stuff. I mean, it's just, the gray is just so beautiful. And um, so anyway, I got this and it fits perfect in my cup holder. And I'm not a big snacker when I eat. If I snack, it's usually at home, you know, and so, um, I mainly probably got this for my girls. I probably should have just went ahead and bought another one. That way they could each put one in their cup holder and they could have it. But, um, anyway, it's big enough. I don't, I mean, unless we're going on some major trip or something, I mean, they ain't going to need that much. This is a big cup. I mean, they could put a lot of stuff in here. So, you know, they could share. Anyway, so got one of those. And, um, I'll be showing you my car organization and how I did that. I'm going to uh, show you some things that I've bought for the Dollar Tree for my car. This actually sits down between my um, driver's seat and the passenger seat. And it's just a little gray trash can. And I was going to get this to use for like tabletop on my tables for my crafts and stuff. But I thought I'm always getting receipts whenever we go out and eat and stuff. And I have nowhere to put them, you know, for gas stations and so on. So I thought, well, I can just use this and just drop my receipts down in here and let this be my little receipt bucket. But because I didn't feel like it was very stable sitting here by itself, 
I had put this little basket down in here because I got three of those for a dollar. And so um, I put that down in there and it has uh, helped as far as like keeping it stable so that it doesn't like fall over and stuff. Now this is my middle um, console and the other two baskets, um, let's take this stuff out and show you. Kind of got everything a little crunched in here. But I put the other two baskets side by side in here and ignore, you know, the dirt because even though I vacuumed, I haven't actually wiped everything down. Um, but it's got a little handle on it and I can just lift this right out. And just to show you what I put in here, um, I just got like a pack of tish, little box tissues. I put a little hairbrush in here. Not that anybody uses it, but it's good for emergencies. This is some stuff for my hair, some deodorant. Uh, sunglasses and then I've got you know my antibacterial wipes and then I put some little band-aids in here um, and then also I may end up making me like a little first aid kit um, this other one fits down in here I'm lifting this out um, and right now I just put like I've got these little um, travel size armor all for glass and um, protectant this is a um, like a mag light. I've got that down in there and then a little clip. Um, this thing is something part in my car that fell off and I don't know what it is. But anyway, I've got that down in there and so these set right down in here and I put the cloths that I had. That's why they were kind of like in here uh, for me to use. I love wiping down my car with those. And so I just set them down in here. I pull them out when I need them. Um, you know, before everything was just kind of like thrown in. And so I couldn't ever find anything. And I just had an extra cloth, so I just pushed that down in there. Had me some extra wipes because my girls are gonna help me wipe down my car. And then in this little pouch here, I did buy this. Um, whenever we have leftover napkins and stuff, um, you know, when we go get stuff to go, um, I used to like shove them down the side of my door. But I thought, that's just so messy. And then when you open the door and stuff, they just fall out. So I just bought this little pouch and I just put some extra napkins and things like that in here. Um, if you had packs of salt or anything or um, salt and pepper, you could put those down in there as well. And so I'm just gonna just lay that on top of there for now. So that is that. Of course, I showed you this thing yesterday. Um, down in here, I put a little notebook and I've also got a pencil or a pen um, because it's always nice to have something to write with in case you need to write something down. And then I bought this little pouch here, and I thought that what I would do, I had a coupon from McDonald's that they gave me the other day, and sometimes when you go to drive through restaurants and you have to wait so long for your order, you know, they'll give you like a little card to come back for a free sandwich or something. So I just thought that I would put stuff like that down in here, little Starbucks gift cards, especially gift cards and things that I know that I'm going to use, um, you know, in drive through and I apologize that this is shaky. I'm trying to hold this while I'm operating my stuff and I don't have my tripod with me, so. And then um, this little thing here, just make use of all your little nooks and crannies. I put some uh, hand sanitizer and I don't know, I found this and just stuck it here because I didn't know what else to do with it for now. Um, let's see. And then in the side of my door, I can show you down in here, open this here. Um, I have another uh, extra bottle of multi-purpose I didn't know I had. These things here, these are actually like grocery bag carriers, and I always forget to carry them in the store. But I put these in the side of my door, so I'm supposed to help me remember what happened. This is my um, little duster that I can use to dust off my dash and stuff. And then right here beside my car is this little brush that I had got so that I can brush the grass and stuff off of my shoes um, when I get you know in the car else that I have uh, purchased and I've purchased this in the past is this little um, sunglass clip that you could put onto your visor and hold your sunglasses and it does a pretty good job you just uh, pull this little thing down and you could just slide your sunglasses in here I've got that that I purchased from the Dollar Tree also I've mentioned before that floor mats did not come with my van and I did not order any or buy any so I just bought two of these for a dollar I put one down this way in the passenger side and then in the driver's side I just turned it the opposite direction um, and you can see I've already got dirt all over it but and just put it there it's thin enough that it can conform to um, you know different shapes and stuff so you know it does the trick and for a dollar you can't beat that
Okay, so in my glove compartment, I actually have two in my van. I got one in the bottom and then one um, up top right here. But in the bottom, just to show you, um, I just put like all my car information, my owner's manual and different things having to do with my car right here. And then I've just got a map um, of Seagrove Pottery. Sometimes we go there. It's been a long time, but I like to keep that in my car. And this open space I've got right here, I'm probably going to put those little um, uh, pencil pouches that you put together with the ring I showed you um, on my haul. I'm probably going to put some, you know, fix those up and then stick those down in here. So it should fit. I don't know what that sticker is. Um, then in my top glove compartment, um, I've got this little clear pouch here. And I just put my um, registration in that. And then I bought these little um, spoons and forks to keep in my van. And believe it or not, we actually have used them quite a bit. Um, so I just put that in that little top section. And then this here is just one of those Bath and Body Works things. This is for the fall. And I just got it right there. And then once, um, you know, fall comes, I'll switch that out. But that's what I've got for that. Um, the side door right now, I don't really have anything in that. I may get another one of those foot brushes and put it down in here. Um, maybe an umbrella or something. So the back of my van, I bought one of these, um, little brush sets and I put it underneath the front seat, um, each front seat in front of Madeline and Caitlin's seats in the back so that um, when they get in in the mornings, they can, um, I don't know how I had this thing now. But anyway, they can um, pull that out and they can brush their feet off or whatever, or they can just take it and like brush their part of the van out if they get grass and stuff in it. I had already purchased these and I showed that on a Dollar Tree haul that I did one time before um, and just threw these down in the floorboards um, in front of their seats. They're pretty heavy, little carpet um, squares. And then, you know, these are pretty much empty. Um, well, I'll say it's empty. It's empty now. I took this book out. I put it back in there because I wasn't going to throw that one away. So, um, something else that I picked up at the Dollar Tree is I had their DVDs in another little basket, but it just was not working. It was toppling over too much. It was square. And so, they had this gray basket, and um, I picked that up, and I was able to put all their DVDs in it one of their earphones or um, headsets. This is just a little game, spot it, and then the remote control for the DVD player. And that fits really good right here. Um, this is actually a um, cup holder. They hardly ever use this. So I just store some extra bags back here. And I use that sometimes for extra trash and things. And um, so anyway, that's what I've got there. Now, as far as my trunk, I had actually laid um, the seats, the back, very back seat, there's three rows of seating, and the very back seat can actually flip down and fold flat, so you can see that you've got all this flat space here. Now, I did take a um, laundry basket and put all the stuff in it that I would normally keep in my trunk, and I like this because whenever I need to empty out my trunk for anything, like tomorrow I'm going to be putting suitcases in here, I can just grab this whole basket and pull it out. And then I don't have to worry about having miscellaneous stuff, you know, that I'm having to pull around. Um, I need to take that hat and put it back inside anyway. And some of these things I'm actually going to go through. I just haven't finished cleaning it out. A lot of this is my bike stuff that I have. But, um, so this basket is not organized, just to let you know. But I'm going to put that back in here. I'm probably going to add another, add like a blanket or something to keep in the car. Um... Some of this stuff is coming out, like I said, not going back in. But these are like all my shopping bags and stuff that I use when I go grocery to the grocery store. I've got my umbrellas down in here. I've got my um, little church bag. Um, you know, so just to let you see, I keep that little fanny pack. There's some more um, grocery bags, umbrellas. This is like a little tote bag that I'm supposed to be carrying into work, but I haven't. So anyway, this basket's coming out of my van. Um, so that I could pack for my trip. And before I put it back in, I am gonna organize it a little bit better, but I will keep the umbrellas, the grocery bags, um, and I, you know, like I said, put a couple blankets and stuff in, in that, as well as the um, little ice scraper. You know, not that I need it now, but I like to leave that in my car so I'll have it when I do need it. 
Okay, so here's my van with the basket out, and um, my niece actually has like one of them patio mats that she lays down in the back of the van. I think I may have mentioned this in, when I was doing my haul. But anyway, she lays that down in the back, and then she can use that. So when I get back from my trip and everything, I may end up doing that because I do like it better with these things down. It kind of helps keep me um, from adding clutter to my van, and I just feel like I got more space, and it's just a lot more cleaner. I'll say one of the things that I did, um, I have a, I got one of these little tiny trash cans from the Dollar Tree. I'm trying to reach in here so I can get it um, to put in the back. So if somebody's sitting in the back, they can, you know, put their trash in there. I also picked up um, one of these car air fresheners. Now, this is Cool Sense Cherry. And I was kind of hesitant about this because you really never know when you get these things how good they're going to be. But it just has a pull top cap. And I set it in the back cup holder. You can set these under your seat if you want to. But I set it in the back cup holder because I don't want something really strong smelling up front where I sit. Um, so anyway, um, the smell of this, just to let you know, smells absolutely wonderful. It makes my car smell like a cherry lollipop, and that is no lie. It's not a perfumey smell at all. Um, it's not overpowering, um, but it's really good. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching how I uh, used some of the Dollar Tree products to organize my van. I apologize that I wasn't quite as organized as I thought I was before I started recording this. It's just sometimes you'll, you know, put your stuff together and think you've done it right, but then you always go back and think of other things that you could have done or should have done. Um, I would have liked to have went ahead and had those little pencil pouches um, that I showed you filled up with goodies and put where I want them to be, just like I would have liked to have my laundry basket sorted out and, you know, organized the way I wanted it with all, I, without all the extra stuff in it that I do need to take out. Um, but I think that you get the idea um, of what I was trying to do here. I feel a lot better about my van, and so I hope that I was able to share some things with you that you can... Um, also use and organize in your vehicle. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.